All right, so Ben here from the fiberglass factory. Just want to take you step by step through the process of fitting a fiberglass scoop to a steel bonnet. So here's a list of the tools that you're going to be needing. First up, we've got an angle grinder for prepping the steel and the scoop. And next we have some self-tapping screws, which is for screwing down the scoop and your screw gun. Then I have some adhesive, two-part adhesive for gluing it down with. After that, we're going to need the grinder again to prep that for the fibre fill, which will then cover over the join and the body filler. Some other things you're going to want is a, some sort of ruler to measure to make sure you get the scoop in the right place and some clamps for the front of the bonnet so you don't have to put screws through it. We've got a block and an orbital sander and some sandpaper just to help us feather it all in. All right, so preparation is the key and taking your time to make sure you get everything right is imperative. So I'm just running measurements. When we're working, we're working to two millimeters. That's what we do. We reckon you can see five millimeters. So that's why we worked two. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I do the same at the front. So we measure and then we re-measure. And it's important to measure from not just one point, measure from other points as well, just to make sure that everything's right. All right, now we're going to mark it. So we know where we're going back to and we know where to prep to. It's a good idea to put a couple of screws in it, just so it gives you something to line back up to, even if it doesn't need it. Like this one doesn't need it, it just fits perfectly on the bonnet. If your scoop doesn't fit perfectly to your bonnet, you may have to take some steps to adjust it, which we show in other videos. We're gonna take it off so that we can now prep underneath it, underneath the scoop and on top of the bonnet, ready for gluing. All right, so we've prepped both surfaces. We've ground over the scoop where the glue is going to go. What I've done is I've tried not to go too far in that the glue doesn't touch it so that there's no bare metal under there, which could potentially cause rust issues down the track. And I've also gone over a little bit further in with the orbital sander, just in case the glue does go in, and at least it's got something to stick to, not just, um, not just sticking to shiny paint, which it doesn't adhere to very well at all. It's important to work fast, particularly in the warmer temperatures. And pushing in any excess glue where it looks like it might be a little bit thin, just to make sure. If you're gonna have any problems with anything, it's gonna be right on the very join. So we wanna make sure there's plenty of glue there. All right, so the glue's gone off. Obviously we can see we've got a step here and the step looks like so. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to grind that down until there's a nice feathered edge there until it's feathered so that there's no sharp joins anymore and there's nothing for it to crack. So I've just prepped here and feed it out. I'm gonna prep out the here so we're right down to bare metal.
So we've fibre filled and then we've put our filler in and now we're, we've got our primer on there and it's ready to continue paint prepping before it gets final coat. Uh, this is where we provide it to the customer. He'll then take it to someone to get painted. The things to watch out for is just to make sure that you don't miss any steps when you're doing the prep process. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next video.